Turned her a little gold. <laughs> Well, that was the, uh, the first run on the, on the big, super cool engine here. Um, got her a little bit hot. I wasn't uh, really planning on turning her gold, but uh, I did. <laughs> gold looks good, though. They get hot quick. Um, I didn't kick her all the way up to, uh, to full throttle. Um, I can see I had a little bit of a leak in a fuel line, and so I didn't want to... Um, get too much fuel spraying around really. Um, but she fired right up, uh, went up and down in throttle. Um, hurt my ears even though I got earplugs on of course. Uh, it's a super cool engine. It's a V1, uh, same, um, same volume as a V1 or a Ford Loon. Um, I can put a little bit more uh, fuel to it so I can get a little more power out of it. Uh, it's a real one-of-a-kind engine. Uh, I don't have it on a thrust stand today because I did all the uh, all the previous testing on the other end. The other engine, the test engine that you see in the videos, are uh, uh, it was a little bit smaller, about five percent, five or eight percent, or something like that. <coughs> so anyway, um, this engine is uh, it's I guess it's, I guess you'd call it my my uh, finished product prototype. I'll be selling uh, engines like this for uh, land speed and, and that type of stuff. This engine here has a uh, has a uh, side draft intake on it, so it can go in the back of something, a truck or whatever. Anyway, everything worked out good. Uh, it's I'm in Klamath Falls, Oregon, out in the desert. It is uh, 24 degrees out here, <laughs> so I did use a little propane heater to. Uh, to uh, heat up a few things, but uh, other than that, uh, it uh, it even fires up in, in uh, super cold. Of course, it's much nicer in the summertime. Anyway, that's that's it. That's the big one. <laughs>